Hello, and welcome to another episode of Clarinet Lessons with me, Mr. Dugdale. I'm very excited to be here, and today you will need your clarinet and your book. So take a couple of seconds, go get those things ready, and we'll be right back. Okay, are we ready to play? We're going to start with our warm up. Now, really quick, we've learned a couple of notes, okay? Um, we've learned low B in addition to C, D, E, F, G, and A. So our warm ups are going to include those notes. First, our long tone warm up. Each note will be held for eight counts, starting with low B. Here we go. One, two, three, and. C, two, three, four. D, two, three, and. E, two, three, and. F, two, three, and. G, two, three, and. A, two, three, four. Nice work. Now it's your turn. Next, we have a new finger warm up. This is song number 43 on page 12 called For Clarinets Only. This one uses low B and the high A. So here we go, number 43. I'll do it and then you do it. Number 43 on page 12. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Now, it's your turn. How did that go? Wonderful. I just remembered, I forgot to tell you a cool fact about the clarinet. And one of my personal favorite reasons why I like the clarinet so much, it has a four octave natural range, meaning I can play four different versions of the same note. So this is an E, low E, middle E, high E, big range, very versatile, lots of fun. 
All right, moving on to our lesson. We are going to talk about articulation. What is articulation? Articulation is the um, use of our tongue to clarify or make more clear and separated a lot of notes in a row. For example, I used my tongue to separate those notes. If I didn't, it would have sounded like this. Less clear. Very clear with the tongue. And I'm going to show you how to use your tongue to make the notes clear. So, number one, what sound or shape do we make with our mouth to get those clear notes? The sound and shape that we'll be going for is ta, right? Ta, say it with me, ready? Ta, again, ta, again, ta. Be careful, make sure that we are putting our tongue on the back of our teeth. We take a breath, we place our tongue, and then ta. The air should already be moving with, uh, when our teeth are touching, when our tongue is touching our teeth. It's the explosive sound of the tongue being released from the teeth that causes the ta sound to be so strong. If the air is going before we put our tongue to our teeth, we get ha-ta, and that's not the same. We want ta. Ta. Now let's see if we can get two ta's in a breath. Ta, ta. Ready? One, two, two at a time. Ta, ta. Breathe. Ta, ta. Breathe. Ta, ta. One more time. Ta, ta. Nice work. Let's see if we can get three. One, two, three ta's. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Nice work. Now, we're going to add our clarinets to this on the note G. So followed one ta, then two ta's, then three ta's. Okay, um, when we put the clarinet in our mouths and we put our tongue on the reed, it should be stopping the sound. <gasps> that was a hot ta. We want. Okay, so let's do it one time on G. One, two, ready. Two times. One, two, ready, and. Nice work. Now three times a G. One, two, three, and. Your turn. Nice work. Remember, this can be difficult and can take a lot of time and practice, so don't get discouraged. And if you're having trouble putting the clarinet in your mouth and making the ta, go back to doing it with just the mouth without the clarinet and then slowly reintroducing it. Okay. Always with a new concept or skill, we like to put it into the context of a song or some music. So I'd like it to direct your attention to page 13, song number 45. I'll give you a second to get there. 
song number 45, ba -da -ba -da. the eighth note encounter, okay? So take a look at those notes. We're playing the note E, and we are going to speak the rhythms using ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, right? Because in music, we got the two eighth notes saying ti, ti, right? Same, same idea with the tongue and the articulation, except we're going to say ti, ti when, when the two notes are beamed together, okay? Here we go, number 45, speaking. One, two, say it with me. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. 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 Nice work. There is a repeat sign, and I'll let you guys repeat it on your own, okay? Now, let's play it. I'm gonna play it one time, even though there is a repeat, but when you do it on your own, make sure to do the repeat. Okay, here we go, number 45. One, two, ready, and. Now, it's your turn. Don't forget about the repeat. Nice work, gang. Now, number 47, the eighth note explorer. Same thing. We're going to use the ta and the tts to say it with our mouths. And then we'll add in the clarinet. This song also has a repeat. And like before, I'm just going to do it once. And then on your own, do it twice because of the repeat. Okay, here we go. Eighth note explorer. One, two, three, four. Ta, ta, ta. T, t, ta, ta, ta. T, t, ta, ta, ta. T, t, ta, ta. Ta, ti, ti. Okay? Now you can say it. Nice work. Now, let's play it. Here we go. I'm going to do it once, and then when you do it, do it twice for the repeat. Here we go. Eighth note explorer number 47. One, Two, three, and. Now, it's your turn. Nice work, everybody. Thank you so much for learning and making music with me today. I hope to see you all again very soon. Make sure you tune in in a couple of weeks for the next video. And as always, be safe, be healthy, wash your hands, and we'll see you next week. Bye.